day 52. I am headed into the beautiful town of Cuba, Cuba. Um, I'm a mile off trail, stayed at really nice Teresa's uh, RV park. Really nice lady, takes care of hikers. It was only 10 bucks to put up my tent and take a shower. Unfortunately, you're right on the road, so we had to hear this all night. But I can sleep through anything, man. This is the soft hum of a beach in my mind as I'm going to sleep. Sounds don't generally keep me up. Um, well, electronic beeps do uh, when people have their phone on and it makes noises. That'll wake me up out of a dead sleep. But you could have 18-wheelers going by all day long. And it won't phase me none. I got chores to do. I got food to mail or food to buy, food to mail. Laundry to possibly do. Uh, that's low on the list. And get some food in my belly. Let's do it. This town is old. It's broken. You know, it's not rare to see windows that are shattered and just taped up. And they're like, ah, that's good enough. Most buildings here are empty. Boards on windows where windows have been shattered. Even the ones that are open look like they're closed. This town needs some love. Well, there's one business in town we know is thriving. Which I think is a good thing. It stimulates the economy. It puts more money into the business owner's hands, back into it. Instead of how marijuana used to be treated, where the money goes from drug dealers to cops. Because either you're spending money off the drug dealers, who Lord knows what they're doing with it, or the cops are coming stealing your money in your stash, and Lord knows what they're doing with it. But this way, that money gets pumped right back into their economy. Nothing but beneficial. Hoping the store is open and that they still have supplies left and the hikers haven't eaten everything. Grocery store is not open yet. So we're going to hit the McDonald's and get ourselves a healthy, nutritional breakfast. <laughs> not really, but it's cheap. Okay, we got Richard's Hardware Store. This is where you buy your gas from. Uh, there's not one-stop shopping. I'm going to have a little chat with the guy that runs the grocery store that advertised on the road for CDT hikers. And, you know, just give him a, a little bit of a breakdown of what we need. If he wants to make money off us, uh, you know, I want him to make money off us and I want him to have the stuff that we need. You know, so I just have a chat with these people and explain to them, you know, how many of us there are, the kind of stuff we need, and how much money they can just peel off of us. It's a win-win for everybody. Ah, there's that guy. There's a dude across the street in a red hoodie. And he is the annoying... Oh, he's got a screw with him. You know, he is the annoying homeless guy in this town, man. Him and his friends, they come up, they're close talkers. I know they're trying to rob me. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I was able to get rid of them yesterday. But since I was nice to them once, you know, they kept coming back. They're like, you know, stray dogs. I fed them. I didn't actually feed them, but I was nice to them. And so they kept coming back thinking, you know, like, we could take advantage of this guy. And then they realized I didn't have shit for him, so they left me alone. But I'm sure if he sees me again, he'll, his eyes will light up and he'll come over and start bothering me. I have occupied this table. Uh, I'm doing all my laundry, of course. pa -chow. Uh But might as well organize my food. Luckily for me, Susie knows what she's doing and she sent me a buttload of baggies, too, because... I've been using the same baggies since I started, and they're starting to look a little rough. Still gonna keep them. They're still on value, but yeah, she was nice enough to send me several sizes of bags. Susie knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> uh, so repackage everything, figure out what I'm sending to Ghost Ranch, what I'm gonna carry with me. I so lucked out because they have kind of a hiker box here, and I really needed powdered milk, but I don't buy powdered milk because it comes in a thing this size. I don't need this much. I only want like a third of this. But it was in the hiker box. Two of these bad boys were in the hiker box. I don't even like them, but I'm taking them with me, man. Oh, so fresh and so clean, clean. Got my resupply going. I found so much good stuff at that laundry mat. Bags of beef stew. I mean, I don't want to carry a bag of beef stew because they are like almost two pounds of beef stew. But I will eat the hell out of this and go strange. I didn't have to carry it. I didn't have to buy it. Oh, 
There's just so much good stuff in there. I didn't even take it all. So now I'm here to mail stuff. I'm at the post office right now. And then after that, I believe I am free and clear to leave town. Maybe I'll stop somewhere and eat. I'm packing my box. I mean, I got this thing I filled to the brim to send out. Enjoying myself a pear, just had a banana. Got a bell pepper for the walkout. I don't eat healthy by any means, but I try to cram some good stuff in there when I can. Oh, homeless cat coming up. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, he came up with a sob story. He wanted money because um, I, I look wealthy. Yes. Um, and he's like, man, I just, I had to walk all the way in here from the res. I was like, damn, how far? He's like, I don't know, like five miles. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> you know, I was like, you'll get used to it, man. You'll get used to it. Just, you know, keep it at five miles for a while. You'll toughen up. Yeah. You know? I'm just offering him advice, not money. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest story to come up and tell a hiker how you had to walk five whole miles and tell him, like, oh, no shit, huh? You're not a pretty girl? You didn't get to throw out your thumb? Yeah. Welcome to my world, buddy. I wished for happy hiking. I am headed to the McDonald's. My chores are done. Awesome. Uh, so I've mailed my thumb drives out to my dad. He's going to convert them to x fats, whatever that means, and send them back. And hopefully that solves the problem. Oh, because I have tons of storage space. I just can't use it. Well, I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to get me a few cheeseburgers. Uh, maybe a few to throw in my pack because it doesn't feel too heavy. Water's in only like five miles or so, so I don't need to carry much of that out of here. It's cool. I only really plan for a three day or so trip to uh, Ghost Ranch. So I don't have to have too much food on my back. And uh, Susie sent me a bunch of the freeze dried stuff, which is super light. So I'm actually going to be eating kind of healthy for me fruits and vegetables and whatnot. Oh, I'm just, I'm in no hurry, man. It's just snow right out of here. It's just snow. Uh, so I'm just. I don't know. I'm hoping there's a beaten path through it, but I don't have micro spikes or anything yet. I was supposed to get them sent to Ghost Ranch, but now that I'm having the thumb drive sent, I'm just going to have it sent to Chama because I'll be to Ghost Ranch before the thumb drives make it to Phoenix. Yeah, so that just makes sense. So, I guess I'm risking my life slightly so I can get storage space. That's just stupid, right? Okay, so when I die, you know, you carve that on my headstone. But yeah, we're getting out of town today. Ran into one of the hikers, I can't remember his name, because there's so many of them. Uh, but he's more hardcore than I am. So I was like, you know, you, you send him food out? Because he was picking up a package and going. And he's like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there, get their raid their hiker box. And then they have like a snack bar, you know, M&Ms and things like that, probably severely overpriced. Um, and he's like, I'll just make do with that in worst case scenario. That's uh, big balls than I got, man. I do not rely on a hiker box. You know, I feel blessed when I, I'll let you turn. I feel blessed when I find one with stuff in it, but I think relying on it is, uh, uh, it's taking the trail's magic for granted. She gives me awesome gifts inside of trail boxes, inside of hiker boxes, but I can't go there expecting it, even though sometimes I kind of do. When I lose a spoon, I expect her to have a spoon in my next hiker box, man. Trail always provides. Ain't dead yet. <laughs> okay, so when you come through Cuba, there will be a group of three over there. That They are the aggressive homeless type. They're super friendly. They want to get really close and talk to you a lot. And that makes me nervous. It does. I mean, they've been nothing but friendly, but... You know, they, they hit everybody up. I see them walking away with little loads of cash from people. They're good at what they do. They're good at what they do. They hit everybody up. Even me. I don't look like I have money, but there's just a possibility, you know, so... They do what they got to do. So be prepared for that. Evidently, McDonald's has trespassed them, so that is safety. I've lost them before yesterday. Every time I came out, uh, they'd see me and come over. So they told me about their McDonald's restraining order. So I was like, oh, I'll just uh, go hang out at the McDonald's. But they had the Wi-Fi as well, so it's conveniently located. Weak-ass Wi-Fi, though. Huh. <sighs> 
I expect more of a McDonald's. All right. But I'm, those problems are going to be behind me. That, that's that's other. Uh, yeah, that's past crawling problems, man. I'm just no more YouTube problems. I'm totally going to run out of space, though. I am. It's a little late in the day, like after two ish or so. Grab myself a drumstick and I don't know, Dr. Pepper. And I am, well, I'm technically on trail, huh? So I'm on trail. I'm headed out of town. I got all my YouTube stuff done. Uh, and, well, what little I could, you know. Um, but it, it buys me time. I got till the first, which I think is about a week away or something. Yeah, I got like seven days before I need to put something else up. So we'll see what happens then. Carry on. Hmm. Yeah, that's place burnt. Oh, did it. Fireplace is okay, though. Well, this is the road out of town. 126. We will be on her for a minute. Mm -hmm. Lovely road. Oh, yeah, smile, baby. That is good. You know what? Road saving is road saving. <laughs> road walking is really unsafe. I think we should change that. Well, let's go find something to sit on and have a little safe meeting to prepare for this road walk. Uh, it's not where we want the hike to end. We got snow to bitch about, dog. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, we got a Presbyterian cemetery up here on the left. Uh, I don't know if that makes it look any different than the other, but that's how it's advertised. Let's see if we get a spot to hang out. I see Johnny Law down there. Oh, yeah. hmm. All right, we'll find a spot. We're we'll right next to his car. He can't see me. Yeah, you heard got kind of nice. I don't see the cemetery, man. This is. Where it was advertised on my map. They relocated. Lots of fluff in the air. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's like snow, but it's not cold. Just is mentally preparing me, you know. Get used to seeing some shit fall from the sky, because this is your life. And of course, the trail provides me a bailout somewhere in there. I'm just following the signs. I will walk till she tells me, dude, get out of here. What are you doing, dummy? You're not meant for ice and snow. Uh, but I'm smart enough to follow the signs. We're dumb enough. Depends on how you look at it. But we're having a good time. We're all alive. That's all that matters. Everything is owned by everybody and there's barking dogs and shit. So we're just going to do a safety meeting on the roll. Just walk slow. Pretend we're taking. I'm not even a mile out of town. I don't need a break yet. Hmm. I don't know where I'm headed. I'm just gonna grab water, walk, set up camp. I'm not concerned with getting too far. And if I move too fast, the boxes won't be where I want them to be when I get where I'm going. Gives me an excuse to just mosey. There's a gang of little birds. Chickens over there. We have lots of chickens. Whoa. That's way more chickens than I got. What's up, chick chicks? You guys want to ignore me like my chickens do? Cool. We're bonding. Hey, ladies. How you doing? Oh, look at those thighs. Hmm. Not a bad road walk. I had a water source right here. Well, it turns out this whole field is actually water. But this is, I believe, just looking at the squiggle on the map, I can only see so much. But yeah, that, that's the water source I'm getting from over there, or a split of it. What the hell is that? It enhances. Llama? The legless llama, the poor thing. Uh, 
humanity. Oh, there's another one standing next to it. I, was like, hey, I didn't even notice it. You just all still. Or you're an ostrich or something weird. Now you're a llama. You're just cut in half. Oh, Dale. Didn't expect that, did we? I can go mess with no llama. I know one thing about them. They spit. Those llamas have a rather deep red band. Maybe even an ombre going on. Oh, I dropped my bottle. <laughs> I wonder who did that. All right, I'm going to be honest. I did not pack my uh, soda bottle out. I threw it in these people's yard. Their yard was filled with garbage. And I was like, I'm not carrying that. I was hoping to run into a garbage can. But I remembered I'm in New Mexico and it is a garbage can. So I didn't really feel bad about it. I shouldn't have done it. I know. But, you know, if you get a litter, litter, litter on private property that's covered in litter, they don't know. It all balances out in the forest, trust me. You shall not... Oh, yeah, you did. See, if they're hitting things this obvious, what do you think they're going to do to you? you got to be ready to, like, you know, throw yourself into a ditch full of barbed wire. Very steep. At any moment, ninja-like reactions will save you. Damn, that's some lawn art right there. He would be the envy of my neighborhood, not one but two fire trucks. Got a dude just down the road from me with a fire truck in his yard. We're all kind of jealous. I have been really fortunate with the big puppy Simpsons clouds going on. I've been in relative shade most of this walk. And not that it would have been hot. It's probably in the 70s, mid 70s right now. But I can see where it'd be bright, you know, it's still a desert. I have delicate skin, I'm not wearing my long sleeves. I'm near the trail, less than a half mile. Caution, mountainous, unimproved road ahead. Oh yeah, fear for your life. I wasn't so sure about this, but there's no private signs. Oh, there's a stop sign. That means I own this shit. Okay. Just didn't feel right. I was curious about dude. Uh, that's why I started filming one of the reasons. Like, I'm okay to be in here, right? Because he kind of turned his car around and just stopped at the end of the road. You know, that's, that's kind of threatening behavior in my hood. <laughs> so it made me a little leery. But he was just uh, happy and curious. You know, he knew a trail runs through here, but he doesn't. He didn't really know. No, so uh, knew I was headed somewhere, though. I, I guess there's a vibe about me. It says I might be going somewhere really, really slow. But we're gonna get there. Okay. Oh, look what we're headed into: the Ombre Mountains. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know, you know, I like, it didn't look like much, right? But like, how long does it keep going up for? Like, is this just a hill and on the other side I go down? Because if so, I feel like I could make that before the sun sets. Where are you, son? Uh, yeah. But probably not. I don't know, I'll find something. Just don't want to sleep up on high, man. I don't like getting cold. You ain't about that. It's just a little off the road, but I saw rib bones sticking out. You know, I gotta come over and look at it. What do we have here? Maybe not it's a cow. All the legs are here, but not the head. They're so cute when they flex on you. 
Do some push-ups, man. We got a decent flow of water. This isn't even the water source. I'm assuming it is, but I don't have to grab it for a while, so I'm not gonna. Welcome home. It just me, is it greener and more beautiful over here? It totally is. I should sit on that rock. Oh, no, no. I've got water just around the corner. I'll sit there. Almost rock. You were lucky. Almost. That purple is just so bright. It's popping. Oh, a CBT logo. I am in the right place. You have options here, this little guy, or while I was looking at that thinking, am I hearing water? Because that's water, but this water's a little bit louder and I can hear from over there. And, I mean, really this looks like it has more silt in it to me, so I'm going to go back to the little water. It's a little on the silty side. Not horrible. The filter is clear. I'm gonna give my filter a run for its money, but you know, I can back flush it on the fly. Pretty sure there's somebody's skull. Them squiggly lines are the way bones fuse together in a skull. Now I'm not positive. Because I'm no anthropologist, but that's what I believe. Oh, I'm probably going to get my feet wet, aren't I? Maybe not. I'm not overly worried, but it is the end of my day. I'd rather not. But I hear from tomorrow out, there will be wet feet, according to the comments. So I've read the comments. It's about 5 o'clock, so um, as far as I can tell from the map, it looks like this switch back and forth up. I, you know, there's a bunch of kinks in the trail, so I'm assuming it means switch backs up. Uh, for about a mile and a half or so, and then I'll start looking for a campsite. Unless I find something real cool down here. It's only like a thousand feet up. It's not that much different up there. I got the toes on my right shoe wet. But I wasn't risking a jump with a full pack on. I don't know what that might do to my knees. I might have tried that in one point in my life. I'm out here shooting at these little signs. They don't think about what's on the other side of the sign when they're shooting. You know, Pachum, I'm down there collecting water, minding my own business, and you get hit by a bullet. And I am gonna kick your ass afterwards. No, I'm totally gonna pass out, is what I do. <laughs> but maybe not. I've been curious about this light green layer. It's different than the rest, especially when you see it in a wall. There's the grays for ash. It seems like ash, but it has a definite green tint. Um, that looks like a Karen. Oh yeah, switch back, son. Huh? This doesn't feel right. Oh, you turned but this is for vehicles. I feel like I have walked really far since that, but I have not. I, the fact that I can still see those so prominent, they're, they're just right there. Wow. I did not expect to see those when I turned around.
cube is a little smaller than I thought. I mean, you're walking through places, it's a little hard to tell. But that's a tiny town. I liked it though. I mean, I kind of really liked it. Even the fact that it had run down buildings and whatnot. Being all old and I guess made of adobe made them just cool. If I was a really rich person, I would do the Bruce Willis thing and buy a town like that. And just make it super cool. The most awesomest trail town ever. These three hummingbirds were having a battle. It sounded like Star Wars. They're just flying around all crazy. Oh, we can. Look at that technology, huh? These aren't bad switchbacks at all. Mildly uphill, not real steep. I don't like the ones that are level and only go up at the corners and go level again. It's a switchback. It's supposed to take me uphill. Or down. Respectively. Oh, that's a nice breeze coming up there. Well, it was nice and mellow coming up here. But for the last part, it's a bit of an uphill. You gotta get your workout in. I haven't really done legs yet today. It's all been a warm up. And then once we get up there, we'll just keep right over our campsite. We still got tons of time and some fine that cloud. I'm guessing two hours or so. Didn't quite make it to the top, but almost there. Um, I still have a lick of service up here. And I have some stuff I need to do online outside of YouTube that I did not get to. Oh, so, might as well set up camp while I still have that. Take care of some crap. I need some food. Uh, I was forced to go with Spam in my... Good old Spanish rice. I hate Spam, but it was that or tuna, so yeah. Spanish rice and Spam sounds better than Spanish rice and tuna. Neither sounds great, though.